hello, hello to all of my Capricorns. Happy Freedom Friday to all of my Capricorns. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. I'm talking to you if you have Capricorn anywhere in your chart. Also, if you're on the cusp of Sagittarius and Aquarius, let's get into it. Let's get into it. This reading is from the 16th of September until the 24th of September. Yeah, on the 17th, we are in a new phase, which is the last quarter moon phase, where you are gathering information from the first of the first, not of the first of the month, the beginning of the new moon, the new uh, moon phase to that full moon phase. And now we're finishing strong. So now that you've had an opportunity to collect a lot of emotions that's full moon in Pisces now it's time to learn how to play a little bit more be more creative right adapt right learn how to, to adapt so let's get into it not take everything so seriously okay God gave you an opportunity during full moon to look at everything look at all look at it all on the table all your moods all your emotions from your past life grow forward forward look at the depth of it and decide hey what do I need to purge and what do I keep what am I keeping to move forward so here we have the nine of wands we have the ace of Pentacles mm-hmm we have the Ten of Pentacles. All right, now we have the Four of Wands. Uh huh. We have the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. All right. Now wait a minute, and we also have the Star card. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. All. Oh man, I'm so excited. I'm trying to. I'm just trying to form the words for you all right now before I tell you what I'm seeing in this card, as Capricorn. I feel like a proud mama bear <laughs> right now. I'm so excited for you all. So let's get into your reading. All right. Whew. Okay. See this card right here, the star card? First of all, somebody is a star, right? You could be a musician, a writer, a songwriter. You could be an a, a author. You could be a whatever it is. But somebody's star is shining really bright. This water right here represents emotions. It represents creativity. It represents nurturing, right? Somebody may have been looking for that outside of themselves, but see how somebody is learning how to water their own soil. If you've been with me for a while, and I've always said to you all, be careful about how, who you're letting pour their emotions into your earth. You're on the earth sign, right? How are you letting, are you letting people pour their toxic waste into your earth, right? Meaning gossip, naysaying, just negative energy are you allowing that into your ear gate and your eye gate into your portal right see how this person is doing it for themselves they're like I, I don't need you to pump me up I don't need you to be team Capricorn I do it for myself I, I know how to I know how to be team Capricorn myself right I know how to inspire myself right I don't need I don't need you to call me one last time to close it out I don't need you to do any of those things I'm good I'm, I'm doing this on my own. I don't need you to tell me that I'm pretty. I don't need you to tell me that I'm smart or that I'm handsome. I don't need, I don't really need that. That's over for me. You're at the end of a long and arduous cycle of self-discovery. See that moon in Pisces, that's water, right? Allowed you to go back in and see all the negative things people said to you, all the manipulation, the lying, all of the good and the bad and decide I need to filter out the bad and I need to use that water, that that pure water that people have been complimenting me. Team Capricorn, you can do it. I'm on your side and I'm using that along with my own pure water and I'm getting myself ready for a new and exuberant love. Because there's no way I'm pouring I'm when because you're a nurturer by default. So when my new love comes my way, there's no way I'm I'm having them to drink from that poisonous water that people have been trying to pour into my into my spirit my whole life. There is absolutely no way I'm not doing that because we got big things to do together. This is legacy wealth. We got big things to do together. I'm a hardworking person. I know how to make big money, and I want to make big money with you. So yeah, thank God for that moon in Pisces. I'm serious. Um, the Pisces is the last sign in the zodiac, 
And so imagine catching all the emotions from the past, good, bad, and everything in between. That's what that really represented. And I'm talking about the depth of those emotions and then filtering through all of that and saying, you know what, I need to decide to get rid of all that negative energy. And for some of you all, it's going to look like you by yourself for a while. Just say, you know what, because I, I, I need to heal. I need to, I need to, I need to nourish myself. I need to nurture myself. I need to hydrate myself. In other words, I need to speak life into myself for a minute. So when my person comes along, there won't be any residue. There won't be any bad residue from all those past relationships, past jobs, past, you know, credit denials. I didn't, this, this house didn't go through. This car loan didn't go through. This didn't work out for me. This job didn't work out for me. That romantic relationship, that friendship didn't work. I need some time by myself to hydrate myself emotions, right? Water, emotions, creativity. I need to do that. I need to learn how to adapt that if it didn't work out in the past, I'm not going to sit there. I'm not going to let that stuff sit there in my soil, right? I'm not going to let it sit there in my soil. So this moon in Gemini is about learning how to adapt, being a little bit more creative, being a little bit more uh, curious, a little bit more, uh, like I said, um, playful and interesting. This is somebody who's saying, you know what? I can adapt. I can adapt. I, 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 I've taken all of the, I've weighed, I weighed the pros and cons of every emotion that came in and out of my life. And I decided I'm getting this far away from anything negative. So again, I'm very happy for you all Capricorns because you deserve a new exuberant love coming into your life. Somebody also may have a court date um, that is, has already happened and I see you winning or is coming up. I see you winning, but it, it looks like it's behind somebody. Actually, that's only if you have a court. I don't I mean for some of you, you may not even have a court date, but more so I'm seeing an exuberant love coming across your life where you're going to be very, very happy with the person you all are building legacy wealth together. So again, all that other stuff in the past, you're at a higher frequency now. Queen of Pentacles, Temperance card, the Hermit card, the World card, the Four of Pentacles, and the Moon card. And this right here was on the top, Nine of Pentacles. I mean, like I said before, you're at a space right now where you're at a high frequency. You are learning how to adapt. You're inspired. You are inspiring other people. There are people looking at you. They are inspired by you. They want to work with you. You're at a, a, a level of cosmic love. Somebody is feeling free from something. And if you don't feel that way, adapt. I need you all to adapt. So if something comes to an end, like, okay, I got to be exact. So if a relationship has been over for a while and you haven't physically moved on from that relationship and you're, you're physically moving on from it, even though you could be in it today, and you can decide next week, it's time for me to pack my stuff up and physically move on. I need you to adapt, be more creative with it. Just say, you know what? I gave it my all. I'm leaving all bad memories behind and I'm moving on with that. The cycle is already closed. Let's say it's been years or months you haven't talked to the person. You didn't block their number and you felt like, okay, I had this rush of emotions of all the bad relationships, the good ones and everything in between that came in. All right, it's time for me to close it out. So I can move on and I can be free from that bondage. Remember, part of freeing yourself from bondage is you got to do the work too. This is not your ancestors doing it all, God doing it all, you know, people praying for you. You got to put in some work too. And so somebody had to take that, like get some inspiration, some fire up under you and be inspired, right? And so somebody has weighed the pros and cons of a situation and decided, no more tricky relationships for me. None. I need to be laser focused. So that's what, that's what the secret in you is being exposed. It's like, it's, it's too in the way. It, it's just too in the way, right? I'm trying to get to this. I've been planting seeds. It's harvest time. I saw this in Aquarius's reading too. This is harvest time. I've been planting some good seeds out into the universe. I have been building relationships. I've been nurturing those relationships. The difference between you and Aquarius is that they're divine masculine. You all are divine feminine. Their energy is directed outward. Yours is directed inward. Yours is cyclic. So you've been, you have been nurturing some good, you've been putting in that work, nurturing some good relationships. And so it's harvest time now. Don't be surprised if people that you you've kept in contact with some people now they want to work with you 
See, that's the upside of closing out cycles. Once you weigh the pros and cons of certain energies around you and you decided this doesn't work for me, the, the, the cons outweigh the pros. I need to move on because when I look over here, these other areas in my life, I feel like those are good. I wanted to bring you along with me because maybe I thought you were my person. But if you're not my person, then that's okay too. My person could be, your person could be romantically linked. It could be linked in business or whether it's a job, a um, partnership in, um, in your, your organization and their, in their organization, whatever the situation is. I, I, I weighed the pros and cons of everything and I decided I need to go ahead and close out some of these cycles. I have to put that work in, right? Yeah. Queen of Pentacles, very well connected. You are very, very well connected. There's a lot of money in your cards. You're very well connected. But somebody has been in hermit mode, like really just kind of sort of weighing their options. You know, being more conservative with your money. Being more conservative with your time. I'm not going to put a whole lot of time and effort into this anymore. For what? So you being in hermit mode, coming to a decision... You know, I'm telling you, at, at some point, somebody realized it's just you and God. Your ancestors would be on the sidelines just waiting. And they have been the entire time. But now it came, it's, it's, it's at that moment. It's just you and God. God, what, what are we going to do, God? I can't operate in fear. I chose you. So that's operating in faith. You're walking by faith and not by fear anymore. You don't see the devil card out here, do you? Somebody is not scared anymore. Somebody has enough up under them to say, I can leave a situation and I'll be good. I know I'm going to be good. Not I think or I hope. I know I'm going to be good. I don't have a problem. I don't have people are attracted to me. I'm an attractive person. I got a lot to offer. I, I don't, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. If I leave you behind, whether you be a job, you be a part a business partnership, you be a friendship, you could be a romantic relationship. I can leave some things behind and I know I'm gonna be good, right? Ten of coins. That's right, legacy wealth. This is more money. Boom, twice. God is reiterating. If you've been praying for a spouse or you've been praying for a business partner, you know, as far as your money is concerned, here it is. So emotionally, thank you, Pisces. That full moon in Pisces, thank you. This is where you're, you're a little bit more playful now. Those those heavy feelings have subsided. I was really nervous at first. I was scared. I was scared to take a leap of faith. But I took that leap of faith and I saw I landed exactly where I was supposed to land. I'm not scared anymore. I'm not scared of what somebody's going to say about you. You don't even have to worry. It's not even in the cards. It's not even in the cards. It's not even in the cards. What's in the cards, it's all good. All of it. Every last one of your cards are good. I'm telling you, you being in hermit mode and weighing the pros and cons of a situation and you deciding to move on is the best thing you could have ever done for yourself. Hermit card again. Somebody is emotionally detached from something. Somebody is like seriously in analytical mode right now. That's a great place to be in because Uranus is retrograde and Mercury is retrograde. Mercury is the communication planet, right? It's Gemini and Virgo's ruling planet. This is Virgo's cards right here, right? So 17th of the month is Gemini, last quarter moon in Gemini, energy directed outward. I want you all to follow me with this. This is Virgo. Virgo and Gemini are ruled by Mercury. Mercury is retrograde, right? This energy is cyclic. It's an earth sign, just like you are. So right now, somebody's thinking about things. How are they going to communicate? I need to move on from this. So now it's just you and God talking. God, I'm not even, I don't even see where you're asking God for the strength in your cards because you already made up your mind. I need to move on from something. And that's exactly what you're going to do. Double hermit mode. Somebody has really been like really mulling this thing over, like really just saying, I'm not spending any extra money on on certain energies i'm not spending that extra time i'm not doing it anymore i've already decided to move on and the cool thing about this is that somebody's moving on in love again at a high frequency remember you went through all of those, the range of emotions high low everything in between somebody is moving on with love i don't have anything bad to say about people i'm not mad here we have the energy is gaining momentum yeah the cycle is closed. For somebody emotionally, the cycle has been closed. But again, you just kept that, you kept that line unblocked. 
You um you didn't you never blocked the email address. You had not physically moved. Some somebody had not emotionally and physically moved on from something. But that's about to change. That is about to change. It's about to change. It's about to change. It's about to change. And see, when we had the full moon in Pisces, you know, something from your past could have been trying to come back up in your spirit. But see, again, feelings have subsided. God has a way of allowing things to happen in your life, things that you like, like an, an approval of a, a home loan, an approval of a, a car loan, a new love coming into your life. Know exactly what language you like to speak that's going to inspire you to keep on moving forward. So God knows, that's what I'm saying. Somebody's not even asking for the strength anymore. Somebody could have met somebody new and said, you know what, I hadn't even thought about that person. Make yourself a very healthy meal. That's right. Somebody may have been eating a little poorly, you know, eating some things that just, now you're thinking more about your health. You're thinking more about, you know, I need to drink some more water. I need to, maybe I need to eat some more veggies. Maybe I need to substitute that pasta with some, some, you know, chickpea pasta or, you know, spinach pasta or something like that, or tomato pasta, whatever you've been, somebody's been substituting, like eating a lot healthier is what I'm seeing here in the cards. Somebody's eating, I'm going to start saying, I need to eat a lot healthier. I want to be ready for my new person coming to This is not about losing or gaining weight. I just want to be in the right frame of mind when my person comes along, whether we're doing business together and or whatever, 666, I am centered. That's right. A wake up call for you to re-examine your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts so that you can raise your vibration in a more positive frequency. Somebody has been doubting themselves for far too long, doubting themselves, scared to make a move, you know, maybe falling back into some food addictions or sex addiction, whatever kind of addiction somebody was falling back into. And sources like raise your frequency because all the things that you've been wanting are right here and you're only going to see them at a higher frequency. So like I said, that's part of the lesson that somebody had to learn is stop being so afraid, operate in fear. Know that people around you are praying for you, not praying on you, right? Let's see if there's one last message, Capricorn, before we close out your reading. Let's see if there's one last message before we close out your reading. I am so happy for you all. You all have no idea. I feel like I've been, I feel like I've been in a car with you all when you, on, during this journey. Ancestors flying above. Some of you all may have noticed more birds above. That your ancestors are like you're going in the right direction. Just keep going. Just keep going in the right direction. We got you. We got you covered. When you go outside and you see birds flying around and you don't know where they're coming from, a lot of them, the spirits, they've gone out into the world, Capricorn, and they've gone to where your exes are. They've gone out there to overhear conversations that you've been too afraid. I mean, like that fear has just been overtaking somebody. They've heard all the conversations. They're coming back to you. They look like they fly in unison, letting you know, like right over your head, somewhere near, letting you know you're going in the right direction. Just keep going. We, we got you. You don't have to be scared. You don't have to be nervous, right? The emperor card. Somebody is inspiring a lot of people on your throne. You have no idea. That flame in you is really inspiring a lot of people. Somebody has to feel like your your heart feels warmer. You feel like, and speaking of this right here, this is attached to Aries. The next full moon that we have is going to be in Aries. Aries is the, Aries like you is a cardinal sign, but somebody is going to be the first person in their family to do something. So I want you all to keep that in mind. You all are the only sign so far that I've told that a lot of people can look it up. You'll see with the next full moon, but it's going to be in Aries. And Aries' a symbol is a ram. Somebody's going to learn how to ram through those emotions and be the first. Aries is the first sign in the trop in, uh, in tropical and sidereal uh, zodiac. But you're going to be the first person in your family to do something, whether it is be a multimillionaire because there's too much money in your cards here. You know, be so in this, and there's a lot of connection with this. But somebody's gonna be the first person in their family to do something major. I need you all to keep that in mind. So, anytime, if, if you're thinking about like during this time, I'm nervous, and which I don't see in the cards here, I see somebody in a real good space, 
a really good head space because God is sending some good energy across your path to keep you inspired so that you don't have a whole lot of time to sit back and worry about those bad emotions. Like I said, you're watering your own soil. You're very careful about protecting your own soil. What is it called? See, this is, this is the result of you watering your own soil. Harvest time. You see? That's what I have for you, Capricorn. Keep on watering your own soil. Keep protecting your soil. Keep sowing seeds into fertile soil. And the seeds, the, the things that you want, I want to be married. But send somebody across my path that is, is me. Send me across my path. That's what a lot of people don't ask God. Send me across my path. Send a healed me across my path. Send a prosperous me across my path because I know where I'm going, right? So I want somebody that's right there. They know where they're going to and we're building to get, we're building an empire together. We're very protective of our soil. We're not just letting people, just family members, old friends, people who are hating on us, doubting us. We're not letting people toss all of that into our soil, right? That's what I have for you and I'll see you on Sunday.